Hi guys, I've just been to B&M again. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. It's full of shopping and hauls and reviews, try-ons, chat. It's evolving, it's growing, it's not a year old yet and uh, I'm still trying to figure out a little bit about who I am but I'm meeting wonderful people and they're becoming a part of my friends and family. So anyway, if you like what you see, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Now, I went back to B&M because if you saw, I think it was my last one, I found some wallpaper with elephants all over it. I thought this wallpaper was amazing and I thought it might be the answer to the room that I did the declutter and clean on. Well, it looked fabulous down here, but when I put it on the wall, just blue tacked to the wall to get a feel for it because that room is north facing it is a very cold light and it just looked gray grayish gray not my flavor at all i'm a colorful girl you'll know that if you've seen little bits of this room you'll know i've got hot pink and i've got tropical wallpaper so i went back to have another look and i was just about giving up when a paper caught my eye and this paper I liked so much, I immediately bought six rolls. I hope six is enough. I think it will be. Um, and though my husband said, Whew, I just think it's incredible. And this is the paper. Get the right way up. Can you see that, ladies? It has a navy blue, French blue, maybe, French navy. It has the pinks on it, it has some oranges, some whites, some yellows. It's kind of tropical. I think it'll work. Because a lot of people said when I was saying that that room was dark and I didn't like it, or paint it white, paint it cream. Now I have to say it was cream. When we first did the house, all the walls were plastered, so all of it was painted cream to begin with. And it was awful. It looked cold and sort of stark. That's how it ended up green. Well, I have finished looking and unless I want to go back to my 80s roots and do pink, which I don't, I'm not a soft baby pink kind of gal, um, I'm a bit louder than that, <laughs> I think I just have to give in and embrace the fact that that room is a dark room with quite a stark light that comes in and it doesn't have a lot of light through the day. So I'm going to embrace the darkness and go dark and then I am going to layer pops of colour. And to that end, I found these. And again, for on the bed, bought them immediately. Now imagine, I could, I probably, you know, we'll do a before and after with this, show you how I do the room, because I do the wallpapering. So can you see all the different colours that are in it? They might be a bit washed out because we're in the conservatory, so there's a heck of a lot of light. But I'm hoping you're gonna get some of the lights that are in there. And I was wandering up and down thinking, yeah, nice white crisp bed linen with this. And then I saw these and I bought two. I couldn't help myself. Look at these cushions. Now, can you see, they picked the yellow out of that flower. They have diamante dragonflies on them. I just think they're gorgeous. They, I can just see, this is beginning. It's beginning to work for me. I'm gonna put some pops of the hot pink. I think they call it maximalism. I think that's what they call it. I could be completely wrong. Where you layer lots of colours and it's like opening a box full of jewels. And that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm doing it on the spare room so that if it is a bit much, it's only the occasional visitor will ever be in there. Let's see what I think. But I love it. So that was my first purchase at B&M. Six rolls of this at £9.99 a roll and two of these cushions on the bed, they're velvet, they're gorgeous, look at this mustardy colour, um, and these were eight pounds each, I may have to go and get a few more actually, because I just think, oh, if only they had them in some other colours, but oh, it's so nice. So anyway, that was my lecture, but that was why I went, because I've got to keep myself busy, and that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be wallpapering that room. So then, of course, I did other shopping, because there was sensible shopping I was there for too. So this is gonna be a real mixed bag as I go through, and you'll be thinking, what's that got to do with that? It hasn't, it's got to do with my jumbled up brain. <laughs> so I got myself some uh, Quaker Oh So Simple Original. It's the Ready in Two Minutes, eight sachets. <laughs> it's bent out of shape. 
it was a pound for the box which i think is reasonable when i'm dieting <laughs> One of the secrets to my success last year and, and the year before, because I mean, I dieted for quite a while to get all that weight off, was this stuff. This is, for a portion, it's 180 calories once you've put your milk in and so on. Which, you know, some of you are going to be like, mm. it is so filling. And this was quite often what I would have as a dessert. So wrong end of the day, but if it got to... You know, half past seven, eight o'clock, I'd have my evening meal. I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, gosh, I'm, I'm a bit hungry. That's normally when I will weaken and eat something that I shouldn't. Well, I will have a bowl of this. It's already sorted into the sachet, so I can't make any mistakes. It's warm, it's filling, and it helps me sleep. So, for a pound, I got one of those. I'm letting you into some bizarre secrets, aren't I? I picked up small pens for the grandchildren. 2 99 for 14. They're the pip squeaks ones, so they are smaller, they're mini markers, but they're the washable kind. As I've said before, I don't know where they go in the house, but I quite often go in there. I went in the other day and I said, oh, what on earth has Lara done? It looked like she had a big bruise all here on her face. And I thought, she's really smacked herself. It wasn't. She'd got hold of a yellow marker, an orangey yellow marker, but it wasn't Crayola. I want to say that. It had been bought for them as a, I think it was a Christmas gift, a little set, and they all had different animal heads on them. And she'd managed to colour her face and it wouldn't come off. It had faded back, but it just looked like this most awful bruise. So I got some of these and we're going to bin those. Because I'm wearing nails, although I have to take them off for wallpapering, etc. I need to start wearing some gloves because obviously the water, putting your hands into water a lot, weakens the glue behind. I saw these and I thought these were nice. Now these are £2, they're by Addis. Um, they call them the ultimate household glove. What I quite liked about them is they feel quite thick. Not thick in a cumbersome way. In fact, I'm going to see, no, I can't actually put my hand in. But they feel really good. So they could be useful in lots of areas of the house and protect my nails if I remember to wear them. But two pounds, worth a try. I got two boxes of my favorite tissues. They're a pound, they're Kleenex, they're thin. It's the pattern I love. It is this pattern. So last time I went, they didn't have any um, in the green. They had different other, different other? <laughs> they had different colors. So what I did was I bought um, the other color, took the tissues out and put them in my old cardboard box. I thought this time I'll actually, so I've got one for in the spare cupboard. I don't know what I'll do when they stop ah, making this design. I'll probably have to, um, I don't know, find a boring, wooden one and paint it maybe anyway a pound each i got two elbow grease they're a manager special at the moment at 89 pence which is even better isn't it one for me one for mum she requested it when i said where i was going she was like oh can you get me some elbow grease i always get these when i am wallpapering they're the or oh, not necessarily this brand but these sorts of things the harris taskmasters they're the snap knives uh, 2.49. I do use scissors as well, but I find these are so much better for when you, you know, you're getting around little shapes, especially things like plug sockets and so on. Um, and whenever I go to find one, I can never find it. Now I've bought these, so the chances are when I pull out my wallpapering paraphernalia, I'll find I've already got some. But if I don't get them, I know I won't have them, and then I'll make my life much, much more difficult. So 2.49 for two. I thought that was fair enough. Picked up my Nor stock pots as always, 199. You know I'm always buying these things. I think this is eight. Yeah, it's eight. I just think it makes a huge difference to just about anything. I was always a proponent of the Oxo cubes. You know, we grew up in house with Oxo cubes, and people are probably going to say they're just as good, but I don't think so. I do think that these are better. So um, I need beef ones. I got them. Of course, if I'm going to be wallpapering. I actually think it's worth, people say to me, is it worth, you know, friends and that, because as I say, I do a lot of wallpapering, I do it with just about everybody I know. They always say to me, is it worth it? I find it is. Not necessarily for the hanging stage of things, but I find that my wallpaper does not peel back. I don't get those edges lifting. And I put it down to the fact that I buy the pack of stuff. Uh, this was two pounds. It's just a bit of peace of mind, isn't it? I picked up some Prince's Peach Slices. <laughs> 75p um they're the ones in juice i love these things and again 
I'm going to show you where I'm going with this. A half a can is 104 calories. Now, I wouldn't have a half a can for what I'm talking about. I'd have about a quarter of a can. So we say 52 calories for a quarter of a can sat on top of a bowl of porridge. <laughs> I'm at about then about two, what am I at? I'm at about 230 calories, 230 calories. Fabulous. I love it. You see, I'm trying to get my head back into that zone of being good and making good choices. And these are classed as one of your five a day because there's no additives. It's not in syrup, it's just in juice. And I don't even eat the juice. I just have the peaches, they're lovely. For a pound, I picked up the Elbow Grease Glass Cleaner with vinegar. Not tried this before, but my windows are very mucky at the moment. <laughs> they always are, to be, to be perfectly honest with you. They come in here, somebody said, oh, you let, let the kids climb on your furniture. I do, I do let my kids climb, or the grandkids climb on the furniture. I am one of those really slobby ladies. And out here, you see, this sofa has a really wide back. Um, and it's, I don't can you see it? Yes, this bit is really, really wide. And the kids sit on it, and they look out the window, down over the property, they look at the horses, or they look at the whatever. So the, my, the glass here is always dirty. I try to tell people sometimes that it's just misty, but it's not. It's little kids' fingerprints. So I thought I'd give this a go for a pound. Of course, for little Levi, I picked up some of his favorite jam and creams. 36p a box. I think that's a packet. I think that's a great buy. He always thinks that I'm the greatest grandma in the world when I bring these in, because mummy won't buy them. The kids love them. Twist them apart, eat the jam side, then eat the cream side, so be done this should have stayed in the car but i thought i'd bring it in to show you it's one pound fifty for two four six eight for ten little bottles now they are the small bottles don't be confused the reason i like these is i can't abide drinking anything other than water really i'm no good at pops coffees i'm, I'm just rubbish at it it's water i drink but the water in the car <laughs> gets opened half of it gets drunk the lid goes back on and then it sits in the car now i get peculiar about that i've got a very strong sense of smell <laughs> and i swear that i can pick up a half used bottle of water take the lid off and go oh no no i can't drink that i can i swear that i can tell what people have been eating when they've done that and sometimes it's me i mean it's, i'm not having a go at anyone else so i like to buy i know it's not as eco i know it's not as good value but i prefer to buy the smaller bottles of water and drink it all and then start a new one <laughs> it's very wasteful but as i only drink water and he's sitting next to me having just paid whatever for a espresso latte frappa chapa napo then he's not going to say anything is he picked up a new comfort fabric softener um this is the one that i love really really love it's called cherry blossom and sweet pea it was 199 i don't know that that's any cheaper than anywhere else but i needed it and i love the smell so i picked it up now it wouldn't be one of my videos if i hadn't picked up something for one of the kids in fact usually i've picked up something for all of the kids but actually hmm, lara hasn't got anything but I picked up socks for the boys. Uh, they are at that age now. They are so hard on their socks. You go in there, they, they, I swear they must have nails like little, little razor blades because they're constantly putting their toes through. They wear the heels out. I mean, they're just, they're just at that age. So um, we're always on a quest for nice socks. Um, these are for Levi. <coughs> Sorry. These are for Levi. Um, they are eight pairs for 3 99 which I think is good buy. Uh, they're the fresher feet socks and they're just all different shades of blues and greys and navy so they'll go with anything. Milo the older boy he is the one that is particularly bad for this. Uh, he is a very big boy as you all know um, kind of rusty tufty and it shows with his socks so I got him two packs but they only have uh five pairs in each pack but i have to get a really big size for him um so for 3.99 i got five pairs of spider-man ones and five pairs of batman ones i would have liked a nice character or something cute for um for levi's but they were only things like um soccer balls and, and they're not really into football so that was a bit of a waste so i just went with the stripes and the fun whereas he was able to have character ones which is nice for him I couldn't get the fabulosa that I love. 
I don't know what's happened, whether that was just a Christmas limited edition, <laughs> limited edition scent, you know, the, the blue one. I know some people didn't like it, but I loved it. Uh, but I needed a new one for the kitchen. They're now doing this one, which I've not seen before. It's called Spotless Kitchen. This one is pink grapefruit, which I love. Um, anything pink grapefruit, I'm there for, especially in a kitchen. I think that's a really, really good smell. Still only a pound, does all the things I want. So I'll give it a whirl. I picked up some more of this brilliant black. Do you remember I bought it once before? It was 149 for 10 sheets. And I'm here to say, ladies, I think it works, you know. Um, there are a couple of things of mine that have a tendency to look, you know, the black has gone that almost um, grey, bluey black. It really does revive it. I'm amazed. I wouldn't say the revival is as strong as true black and I wouldn't say it lasts as long as when you first have something that's black. But it has helped and at 149 I'm going to keep on doing it occasionally because that is 10 sheets. So what is that? 14p a sheet? About that well worth it to keep some of my things looking nice of course you know me in cloths <laughs> my mini obsession these were new these are scouring dishcloths now i'm not actually going to use them for my dishes can you see they're pink pink stripes pink for sinks these are going in my bathroom for the sinks i don't really like keeping cloths too long that i use in um uh, yeah that i use in bathrooms I, I'm a bit funny about them not that I would use these on the toilet I have to say but just it's one of my failings I think it comes of growing up in the sort of household where we used to cut up you know dad's underwear and Christ knows what else to use as cloths and they always look disgusting and if I ever got told right you've got to go and clean that I used to get this cloth out from behind the loo or under the sink and I'd be like oh and I think it stayed with me so £2.50 got me five, so it makes it 50p a sheet. But what I like is I suffer from lime scale where I live, really, really bad lime scale. Because it's scouring, it's going to help take that lime scale off the sinks and things without using quite as much cleaner and product. Picked up Nick a can of corned beef for £1.99. Uh, it's the Frey Bentos version. It is very low in carbs. Um, he can literally go to town with it and, and it'll be fine. And again, adds a lot of flavour, crumble it up in things, that's what we do, um, and he'll enjoy it. So, yeah, got it. So for Mask Monday, because you know I have lots of masks now, I shouldn't really be buying any more, but I bought these. These were a pound each. I got the orange one by Skin Techniques, which is the Volcanic Mud Bubble Sheet Mask, uh, cleansing and exfoliating. And I got the Charcoal Bubble Sheet Mask in black for detoxifying and cleansing. Give them a whirl at a pound, hey? I got some sugar-free jellies, 69p for the twin pack, uh, strawberry, raspberry, of course, when you're dieting, they make a big difference, don't they? I mean, sit there and have a little bowl of jelly. It takes me back to being a kid. I must be the only person I know of that chews jelly. I get into trouble for that. People say, are you chewing that? And I'm like, yes. Um, but as you know, they are so low in calories that when all else fails, you can do these. And if I'm just trick you a little bit into thinking well I'm not completely suffering am I I mean how can you be suffering if you're eating a strawberry jelly but it still feels like it <laughs> we're getting there now so I've got my usual crystal I only have to get one because I keep buying them as I use them and I also picked up oh where's the top I also picked up um a lemon uh this one a lemon juice by Betty Winters <clears throat> I like, lemon juice. I like lemon juice in lots of things and I prefer to use a fresh lemon. But sometimes you go to make something, it wants a splash of lemon and you haven't got one. There's nothing wrong with these, is there ladies? I mean, I grew up on Jif lemon. So this one is uh, Betty Winters, you know, that it's their own range, I think. Um, and it was really cheap, let me check. Yeah, it was 39p, which I thought was really cheap. But it can sit in the fridge, on the fridge door, I can forget about it. And then if I do need, you know, sometimes you're making a sauce and it says, you know, juice a half a lemon and you're all over the place trying to find a lemon. And living rural as we do, it's not like we can pop to a corner shop either. I got the kids some buttons, of course. Uh, these, are, this is just the five pack for a pound. You know, the little mini bags of chocolate buttons for when they come in grandma's. I picked up some nails to try. Now, I haven't tried the W7 nails. Um, these don't look quite as long as the Jess thingy ones. Jess, what is her name? You know who I mean. 
Um, these were these were two ninety nine, which makes them three times as expensive as the French ones that I had originally. And I'm just hoping Poundland gets back. But I thought the colour was pretty. It's sort of somewhere between a lavender and a blue. Um, they're glittery. They're not as horrifically long and I'd be interested just to see will they wear as you can see I'm missing one at the moment off this hand but I mean these are all right they're just nothing to write home about I mean I had to cut them down because they were too long but I thought I'd give them a go. B&M selection of or certainly my B&M selection of um, fake nails is very very poor very very poor lots of fake eyelashes which I can't wear but not so many of the uh, the fake nails which is a shame because i'm quite into them at the minute last two things <laughs> bertie and mimi have one of these every night when they go to bed uh it's their treat they know it it's one of the few times that my hubby actually gives them a treat it's so funny he always puts them to bed um sorry i was looking at that because he's out there um he puts them to bed and all day long he's like dog sit down dog do this dog don't do that when he puts me to bed, I smile because I hear him out there and I hear him go, oh, Mimi, he says it all in a high pitched voice, Mimi, Bertie, are you all right now? Now, good night. And then he shuts the door and it just completely cracks me up that he does that. So anyway, I got the big box. This is the medium size, I believe, the 25 kilogram dog size. So medium really refers to the dog size. I think it's classed as medium, this one doesn't really say uh it's 28 sticks and it was 4.75 which is about the going rate it's nothing special and then last but not least getting ahead of myself really when i haven't even wallpapered the walls i picked up these for five pounds it's two of the little um i call them house shaped <laughs> little shelves to go on the wall i thought they were really pretty and i think they'll go really well where is that paper <laughs> get in a minute i think it'll go really well They'll go really well against it without the white back, of course, but the gold's against it. So that was it. I managed to spend, I also bought a box for my daughter with a lid, but she's already got that. She mugged me as I got out of the car. I spent £156.39p, guys. So I'm going to have to be good for a bit, but as I say, I'll do that room and I'll show you. And fingers crossed, I'm right and it'll look amazing. And you can watch as I buy more things to fill it and layer it and make it the way I want it. Anyway, that was me. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I hope you're happy. I hope you're safe. And I hope you're well. <laughs> Bye, guys.